Yo, what's going on, everybody? It is your boy Fitzwong TV here, aka G Lauren33, and I am back here with uh, an extra segment from the Legit Shoot podcast. You guys notice I call this a legit extra, a little bit of bonus content for you guys today. And I wanted to go into more detail um, discussing Sasha Banks, Bailey, the Women's Tag Team Championships, and everything going on with the SmackDown Women's division all right if uh depending on when you guys are watching this video i'm posting this on june 7th the sunday before nxt in your house so if you guys are uh, watching this in the afternoon make sure to join me for the nxt in your house review later sunday night but uh i wanted to talk about if you guys didn't see uh my smackdown review from the podcast last friday sasha banks and bailey became two-time women's tag team champions bailey is now a double champion she's the new becky two belts she's holding now both the smackdown and she's one half of the women's tag team championships uh sasha banks is now a seven-time women's champion and even though i'm happy about it we have to be honest Yes, it's always great seeing Sasha Banks with gold around her waist. She deserves to be champion all the time, if you ask me, because if you look at the main roster, NXT, AEW, I don't care who it is, Sasha Banks, in my opinion, is easily the best female wrestler in the world. And if you guys watch my videos, you guys know I believe this with everything in my being. I don't think there's anybody close better than her. But there's been a lot of people on social media that have been pissing me off as of late and especially the last couple of days seeing the reaction and all that i felt like i should just make you know a little bit of an extra segment talking about you know sasha Banks and all that like i said before sasha Banks is the best female wrestler in the world but she has never been booked like that all right, and I hate how I always have to go into detail because it, it involves me having to go back and talk about Sasha Banks' history. She's been the best female wrestler since she's been on the main roster. You know, you could argue that, um, you know, an Asuka or Ronda Rousey or Becky Lynch may have been better than her at some point. But to me personally, I've never felt that there's ever been anybody on Sasha Banks' level or as good as her, you know, but she's never been booked like that and usually when you have somebody with the level of talent that Sasha Banks have you book her correctly you know why do you think I always get so freaking pissed off when Charlotte Flair has 12 freaking title reigns in five years on the main roster and how she'll mostly end up a 30 time champion by the time we get to 2025 Charlotte hasn't had one reign she has never had one reign out of her 12 that is considered iconic or memorable in my opinion and if you guys have a reign, put it down in the comment section. And I will tell you guys why that reign was unmemorable and not, and not iconic. Why do you think no one gives a shit or talk about it? Because most of Charlotte's reigns have either been for her to be a transitional champion or just been flat out garbage. I don't care what she's doing with the NXT Women's Championship right now. She's not elevating that division. She's not. Is she bringing new eyes to the NXT product? No, she's hurt, she's hurting the product by holding onto that belt. It was just last week when Charlotte was in a number one contender triple threat match to determine who would face Asuka at Backlash for the Raw Women's Championship. She told me it makes sense that uh, Charlotte, who is already the Women's Champion of another brand, you think it makes sense for her to be on Raw contending for another championship? How does that help her other title? How does that help NXT? It doesn't. But yet people like to sing Charlotte's praises because she's a 12-time champion. Sasha Banks is a 7-time champion. And yes, you know, at the end of the day, 20, 30 years from now, even though there'll be people like me that will tell the truth about how Sasha Banks was booked throughout the early part of her WWE uh, main roster career, it's people are still not going to care. People are going to say, oh, she's a 7-time champion. Stop bitching. Stop complaining. Sasha has never had a long title reign. People on social media are like, yeah, Sasha's a seven-time champion, but how long everyone uh, knows that Sasha Banks is injury-prone or she doesn't hold on to titles long, all right? And then these Alexa Bliss fans, well, it pisses me off, these Alexa Bliss fans. Alexa Bliss is garbage in the ring. Garbage. I don't care. She's decent on the mic, but when it comes to her in-ring ability, she is garbage. 
every once in a while she might do a flashy move but overall she is generic and she does nothing that's really impressive Sasha Banks is always up here you know coming up with new moves you know revolutionizing her offense and becoming a better wrestler because she wants to be the best wrestler she can be she doesn't want to be stagnant she wants to improve but here's the thing that pisses me off people uh, Alexa Bliss is more injury prone than Sasha Banks Sasha Banks what she's had a couple injuries throughout her career she's had a back injury even though that was for storyline she had a head injury but that was for storyline the, the most legitimate injury she did have was um, before WrestleMania 35 last year when she had to take a four month hiatus to get her mental well-being uh, back in check and to be better for herself because she, she felt mentally drained and depressed because of the burden that WWE takes on superstars. Plus the way she was booked, she was never booked correctly. Never. How can you have four title reigns, four Raw Women's Championship reigns, and only have a combined 80 days as champion? Never be able to hold a title longer than a month when you're the best female fucking wrestler in the entire company. It makes zero sense to me. While Alexa Bliss, who is nowhere near the level of a Sasha Banks, is also a seven-time champion. She's a three-time Raw Women's Champion, two-time SmackDown, and two-time Tag Team Champion. Sasha Banks uh, and Bayley, when they first originally won the Women's Tag Team Championships last year at WrestleMania 35, I say this almost every week, Sasha Banks and Bayley should have never lost those Women's Tag Team Championships. They were the ones that were complaining and asking Vince for weeks to, to bring in those Tag Team Championships because they wanted to elevate the Women's Division. And then when they won at the Elimination Chamber last year, it was such a fucking special moment. And we thought WWE was going to have them hold those championships throughout most of 2019. We thought they were going to go down to NXT, go to SmackDown, go to Raw, defend them everywhere, and make them actually feel special. They actually had Sasha Banks and Bayley show up on an NXT house show, the T's going up against teams in NXT. And we were all excited. But yet Vince McMahon, he's so freaking out of touch, decided to take those towels off of Sasha Banks and Bayley and give them to the freaking Iconics. And since then, those towels have been absolutely irrelevant. No matter if it was the Iconics holding them, as much as I love Asuka and Kyrie Sane, when they held them, they didn't do anything with the championships. And don't get me started on Alexa Bliss and Nikki Cross. The Women's Tag Team Championships are nothing more than a fucking prop. They're a prop. And yes, I was super happy to see Sasha Banks and Bayley win the gold. Because it's always good to see Sasha with championship gold around her waist. And yet, they're also going to use the Women's Tag Team Championships for something good. We're all waiting for the Sasha Banks and Bayley storyline. We all believe that Sasha Banks versus Bayley, the feud has the potential to be feud of the year. Maybe even be match of the year if WWE does it properly. We've been waiting for Sasha Banks and Bayley to have their legit feud on the main roster now for four years now, and we've never gotten it. We were supposed to get out of WrestleMania, but the plans changed when Sasha got injured at the Royal Rumble earlier this year. And yes, as much as I would have wanted to see Sasha Banks versus Bayley at WrestleMania, I'm glad we're not getting it. I'm still hoping that SummerSlam takes place in Boston, even though I'm not sure with everything going on with this pandemic. But Sasha Banks is a babyface in Boston against Bayley. That is the way to go if we can get that to happen. And I've been the one saying for weeks, for weeks and months that WWE should use the Women's Tag Team Championships to elevate the feud of Sasha Banks and Bayley. Yes, it's a little bit predictable, but at the end of the day, if it makes the story better, I have no problem with it. Bliss and Cross were doing absolutely nothing with those tag team championships. They, they, they meant nothing on Alexa Bliss and Nikki Cross. Absolutely nothing. And I'm just being honest. I'm sorry, you Alexa Bliss fans. The truth hurts. What were they doing with those tag team championships? Defending them against Dana Brooke and Carmella? Get out of here with that garbage. Defending them against... Uh, the Iconics? When the Iconics were the Women's Tag Team Champions, they defended them against jobbers. Yes, jobbers. And you really expect me to care about the Women's Tag Team division? Yes, I don't want Sasha Banks and Bayley holding those titles for a month, you know, just so they can use it as a prop for their storyline. But at the end of the day, I think we can all agree that we'd rather get Sasha Banks and Bayley at SummerSlam 
than have to wait till the Royal Rumble or Survivor Series or WrestleMania next year to get it. Bailey has nobody to face in the SmackDown Women's Division. She's defeated uh, Data Brooke, defeated Carmella, defeated Lacey Evans, defeated Naomi, defeated Bliss, defeated Cross. Sasha Banks is the only person that she hasn't faced in that division one on one for the championship. She's the only match that has ever mattered. When Sasha Banks first appeared with Hero Bailey the week after SmackDown premiered on Fox back in October, that's all we talked about. We all we discussed is a potential Sasha Banks and Bailey match, and we all thought we were getting it for WrestleMania, but the plans changed. We all think we're getting it for SummerSlam, but we don't know what's going to happen. Because if SummerSlam can't take place in Boston, we don't know if Vince is going to chase his mind. And Sasha Banks versus Bailey, that's not just a one-month feud. That's a feud that can carry SmackDown for most of the rest of the year. They can give us two of the three really good matches. I can see Sasha Banks and Bailey having a Johnny Gargano versus Adam Cole rivalry in the women's division on the main roster. The women's tag team championships are a joke. They are a joke. But Sasha Banks and Bailey are so good at what they do, they can actually make those titles matter in this storyline. Let's be serious here. How many teams are actually in the women's division? Outside of Bliss and Cross, Banks and Bailey, and the Iconics, that, there's really nobody else. Maybe the Kubaki Warriors? You know, and maybe I would love to see Sasha Banks and Bailey go up against Oscar and Kyrie Sane on Monday Night Raw. Oh my gosh, that would be absolutely freaking amazing. Take my money. You know, but at the end of the day, I'd much rather have Sasha Banks and Bailey happen at SummerSlam and have them have a shorter reign as tag team champions. Then have to have Sasha Banks and Bailey hold those tag team titles all year just because Sasha and Bailey's story gets delayed. At the end of the day, I said this on the Friday Night SmackDown review. If Sasha Banks and Bailey does get delayed, if it does get delayed, you know, then Sasha Banks and Bailey should not be losing those tag team titles anytime soon. Not only because Sasha Banks deserves to have a lengthy reign with a championship belt, because he's never been able to have that since NXT. But because it gives WWE more time to build up tension. Like I said, the Women's Tag Team Championships are a joke. There's no division. Just like there's no division on Raw and SmackDown for the, for the Men's Tag Team Championships. We all, know, like, we all know where this is going. They already built tension in the match on Friday. Bailey dis- decided to tag herself in. And when Sasha had the bank statement on Nikki Cross, she pulled Sasha out of the way and did the bank statement for herself. They can do, they can go so many ways with that. Uh, you know, Bailey's been, you know, booking matches for Sasha um, without asking her permission. First against Tamina, which got Bailey um, the face Tamina at Money in the Bank a couple months ago. And let's remember two weeks ago for Sasha Banks and Bailey to get that women's tag team championship opportunity. Bailey had to offer Sasha Banks up to Alexa Bliss when Sasha didn't even have her in-ring gear on. She didn't even have her ring gear on. She was wearing a, a track suit and track pants. And she still won the match because she is that damn good. What I'm saying here, eventually down the line, I would love to see Sasha Banks and Bailey hold those titles. And if SummerSlam gets moved to September, you can have Sasha Banks and Bailey hold those titles till sometime in August so they at least get a couple months with the belt. You know, maybe have them get a couple defenses against the Iconics, Bliss and Cross, maybe even Oscar and Kyrie Sane. Make the make some kind of spotlight be given to those titles because Bliss and Cross brought absolutely nothing to the titles. Nothing. They were just holding them. You are you gonna tell me one match that Bliss and Cross had that really elevated those women's tag team titles? I'm waiting. Let me know in the comment section. At least here, those towers are going to be used for the greater good of SmackDown. Because this, Sasha Banks and Bailey has not only the potential to be the best thing in the women's division, not only the best thing on SmackDown, but has the potential to be the best thing on WWE TV. Throughout the entire company, all three brands, all three shows. Because we've been waiting for this in, for, for years. And we know Sasha Banks and Bailey are going to deliver when the time comes. You, you can have Sasha slowly build frustration with Bailey. You can also use the hacker if you want here and have like some, you know, something be revealed about Bailey using Sasha Banks because Bailey is cu- clearly using her friendship with Sasha Banks to keep the SmackDown World Championship. And let's be honest here do we really want Sasha to be Bailey's lackey? 
Because even though, yes, Sasha is one half of the tag team champions, she's been known as Bayley's lackey since October. She's the sidekick. And we all know Sasha Banks is better than that. This is no disrespect to Bayley, but Sasha Banks is a better wrestler at the end of the day. Sasha's just that damn good. She should not be a sidekick to Bayley. And we all know that. At the end of the day, Bayley's the one with the two belts. Bayley's the one that's in the middle of the a great championship run. Bailey's heel run as champion has been better than all 12 of Charlotte's reigns combined. And I'm serious when I say that. Bailey has gotten so much better and at mastering this heel character. And she's really, you know, uh, gotten a hold of making that character for herself. So down the line, as the tension continues to build, and eventually Sasha makes and Bailey lose those tag team titles. And Sasha gets frustrated to the point where she turns on Bailey, turns babyface, and that's how we get the rivalry to be set up. There's different ways they can, you know, take this by having the hacker and all this. But at the end of the day, the whole point is these women's tag team championships don't matter. They don't matter. They're going to be fucked it up when you took the titles off of Banks and Bailey at WrestleMania 35. The best thing you can do with the titles at this point in time is use those to elevate the feud between Sasha Banks and Bailey, And it doesn't have to be predictable. You know, you could do something. I remember when John Cena and Shawn Michaels were feuding back in 2007, right? Even when they had that damn good match at WrestleMania. But still, they were tag team champions. Even after the match, they still had to defend the tag team champions. Maybe something has to between Sasha Banks and Bailey. Sasha turns on Bailey. Who knows? Maybe she becomes SmackDown Women's Champion at SummerSlam. And, and even after that, Sasha Banks and Bailey, even though their friendship is now in ruins, they still have to tag together since they're still tag team champions. If WWE wants to do something like that, I'm okay. But the whole point is for everyone on Twitter that is, you know, bashing Bailey, so mad that Alexa Bliss lost the titles. Let's be serious. Alexa Bliss and Nick Cross will regain those titles at some point. Even though they, the titles don't matter, it probably, you know, probably once Sasha Mix and Bailey has been set in stone and once we're, you know, getting ready for that match, Bliss and Cross will probably become three times IQ champions. Even though those championship belts, like I said, don't give matter at all. They don't matter. It's, it's 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 retarded thinking if you really think those tag team championships matter. It's just like the 24-7 title. It's a fucking prop. And that's on WWE because they didn't book those titles correctly it's as simple as that we should be here enjoying the ride with Sasha Banks and Bailey that's what we should be enjoying trying to figure out when the turn is gonna happen when is you know the breakup going to go down because we're all waiting for it we all see where this is going eventually Bailey's gonna fuck up to the point where Sasha Banks can't take it no more and then it's going to be awesome, and we all cannot wait to see what happened. Because, that, because you know, that's what we want to see. Until I, I, and for people out there on Twitter saying they're happy and they're satisfied, no, Sasha Banks being a tag team champion, even though it's great to see her have gold around her waist, it's a consolation prize. I don't expect con you know, uh, consolation prizes when you're the best female wrestler in the world. Sasha Banks deserves to be SmackDown Women's Champion. She deserves to be a singles champion in the face of the women's division. You see the reign that Bailey's gotten? You see the 12 reigns that Sean has gotten? You see the one-year reign that Becky got? Sasha deserves that and more. When Sasha eventually wins that championship, I don't want no four, five, six-month reign. She deserves to hold that title for over a year because she's that damn good. Let her run with the title and make the women's division as good as it was when Ronda Rousey was here, if not better. Because that should be your goal. Stop pushing your stupid agenda. Stop being horny on Twitter because you know your girl Bliss is no longer champion. So we'll eventually regain that title even though the Women's Tag Team Championships don't matter. Look at the bigger picture. Look at what's actually important. Sasha Banks and Bailey is the best thing for the Women's Division right now. SmackDown needs that. This company needs that. They need something that they can get invested into. Because if you look at Raw and you look at SmackDown, there's not much to be invested into. There really isn't. Sasha Banks and Bayley, what they're doing right now is the best storyline on all WWE TV. I cannot wait to see how it all plays out. I just wish you, got, you, you, you delusional buffoons could actually get that through your damn heads.
But let me know in the comment section what you guys th thought. I wanted just to give you guys a little bit of an extra mini rant here. All right. Like I said before, Sasha Banks and Bailey being women's tag team champions, you know, is something that should have happened last year. They should have never lost those titles at WrestleMania 35. They should have held those titles all year and made those titles prestigious. But now, here we are a year later, this is not about making the women's tag team championships prestigious. This is about making Sasha Banks versus Bayley something memorable and something special that we're all going to enjoy. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think about that. If you guys want to follow me on Twitter, the link is in the description down below. Like, comment, subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. Enable notifications by clicking the button next my name, Fitzwong TV, so you guys are notified every time I post a new video. I'll see you guys later. If you guys are watching this on Sunday, June 7th, I'll see you guys for the NXT in your house review. Till then, guys, stay safe. Have a great day, guys. Peace.